I'm going to show you uh, how to do this assignment on uh, trig graphing. So I'm just going to pretend to be a student here. And um, so one of them is uh, values along the x-axis, radian values. And this is just that idea of the quarter periods. So they, he calls them P1, P2, P3. So that you want to think of this as one full period of the function. And we just want to get a little bit of practice in um, just basically dividing by 4. <laughs> it's really not, not super hard. So 5 pi over 7, we're going to divide by that, that by 4. It's going to be 5 pi over 28. And then twice that, well, we could just then step up by these. So it would be 10 pi over 28. But we want to make sure we reduce. So that actually would be um, 5 pi over 14. But then 3 times 5 over 28, that's going to be 15 pi over 28. There's no common factors there. Let's try it. So these are just getting those quarter period points. I think so. And, uh, and that's correct. So the, um, what's a little special here is that we're starting from 0. When there's a shift in the anchor point, when there's a phase shift, this is going to be even a little more complicated. We're going to have to quarter the period and then add to some number. But I just want to make sure everybody's good with uh, the fractions and everything. Um, so let's go back. Let's do graphing trig functions assisted. This is kind of fun. So he says manipulate the three red arrow images. And you also need to name the five key points. So you take this equation, and um, we just want to move these arrows up and down. This affects the amplitude. This affects the midline. This affects the period. Oops, didn't get it. There we go. This affects the period. Notice um, <coughs> we're never. <coughs> these are never going to have an, an x shift. Just to make it a little simpler. Um, there's also you can change uh, between these two graphs. So if that's this is a cosine. So clearly without a shift we need a cosine graph. So we need to do this. The scale type just changes between three choices. It's it's probably just he probably just found it easier to code than having like having you be able to choose the scale. So there's integers. There's some pies with pi being right here and here's pi with pi being right here. Okay. And so I want to match this function. Well, the amplitude let's see the midline should be 2. Oops. Okay. And the amplitude should be 3. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Can I can I move the origin? Let's see. Um, no, I, I got it. There we go. Um, yeah, and it should go down to minus 1. That's good. And the period, we want to make um, 2 pi divided by 1 half pi. That's going to be 4. Oh, that's an integer. And so I'm going to want to shift it so that 1 period is at 4. Okay. And then you're also going to want to put down all the, the key points. And it's a little clunky with the parentheses. It doesn't render incredibly well. But this is supposed to be the x-coordinate. This is supposed to be the y-coordinate. And it gives you the option to have a pi or not have a pi. And so we could put in like 2 pi over 3 for our p0, comma 5, something like that. So that's the x and that's the y. OK. And I'm not, I'm not going to do it to, to get a solution. but. That's hopefully explained that enough. And then the last one, trig graph discovery animation. Um, here, it's given a graph. And so what they ha have is y equals cosine x as your reference. And then the dotted one is a modified one. And you're supposed to figure out what, um, what the parameters are. Now, it's a little weird how it renders. I think he's still working on this. This is the a, so some uh, number in front of the cosine. Then here's the, um, the b in front of the x. And again, you have the choice for pi or not pi. And then a shift. So for example, if I thought it was 3 time in front of the cosine times cosine of, ooh, look. What is it doing? Oh, it's going to go ahead and figure this out for me. So it's basically, I can just kind of guess around plus 3. OK. Then it's going to do all those transformations for me. So this is really something where you can um, guess. It's going to be quicker if you know exactly how to match it. But if necessary, you can kind of do some guess guessing around with this. OK. 
And uh, so this is the A, this is the B, this is the C. Again, there's no horizontal shift here to make it a bit, a bit easier. Okay, that's it.